out of her female soldiers without underwear. The American soldier just poked her head out and was bamboozled into a doe eye. This scene, even the female soldiers themselves could not bear to look at, then threw a grenade, killed all the soldiers in the tunnel, and completed the hunt running to another tunnel entrance of the jungle. They quickly drilled in and disappeared. In order to counteract the tunnel warfare of the Viet Cong, the US Army transferred a group of short-statured tunnel soldiers, but these recruits had not been in battle or fought in a war. In order to quickly acclimatize them to the brutal battlefield, their superiors taught them a lesson in cruelty. A Viet Cong sniper was pushed right off the highway and hand alive. This way of boosting the soldier's courage was rebuked by the recruits on the spot. Even the soldier who carried out this execution felt guilty, and everything that happened was watched by a partisan. A wild revenge is about to begin as the group of recruits embark on their first adventure. The dense undergrowth is full of crises, and any unusual bird call makes them very cautious. Look at their equipment, grenades and smoke grenades slung over both shoulders. M16 automatic rifles, how much more advanced than the acts of Vietnam, they arrived at the entrance to one of the tunnels they had found last night, and carefully peeled back the weeds around the lid like scalpel doctors, using a tree branch along the gap, secretly picking up the dead branches inside. To be so careful is to be afraid that the soldiers have buried a bomb here. Lifting the lid of the well was a rectangular hole. The officers asked the soldiers if they had volunteered to go in, and one of the new recruits volunteered, a newborn who wanted to be a hero. Out of curiosity, some of the soldiers reached into the hole and took a look. It was pitch black and there was nothing to see. The soldier took off all his useless equipment and brought only a flashlight and a pistol. The hole was so narrow that he could only get in with his hands up. He went inside the tunnel, shining the flashlight ahead, and in no time reached a fork in the road. He had just shown the light twice inside the dark, narrow tunnel when suddenly a gunshot ran out. A sudden situation, another recruit went down to check, found his dying comrade, and before he could turn around another shot was fired. The recruit who was dragged out was shot and being held. Without leaving a single last word, he died. The sacrifice of a comrade, before it had even begun, drove the American GI mad. The officers threw in a grenade into the tunnel and added a tear gas canister after the explosion. Several men stood guard at the exit, but after a long time not a single figure was seen. What kind of bunker is this? Yellow hair and Jack put on gas masks, wrapped a rope around their waists, and entered the bunker using their hands and knees to move inch by inch, their fingers gently groping in the dirty dirt to eliminate pits or hidden mines. Not far into the climb, they found a mine that the soldier had planted ahead of time, diffused it and moved on. The two men climbed farther and finally found a hole, but unbeknownst to them, a Vietnamese woman had been waiting for them for some time. Just as soldier poked his hat out, the rope snapped and the recruits sent out had no news, trying to communicate through the radio but the signal was cut off. By the time they found the recruits, they were just a bodies with no body heat. Can't go back until they find these soldiers today. The guests all crawled into the tunnel, and more waiting for support from headquarters, were also forced into the tunnel by the soldiers outside. And the headquarters of the US Army station was hit by the soldiers' unprecedented blow. Soldiers hiding in the shadows caught the US Army off guard. They fell one by one without seeing a human figure. In order to prevent the ammunition from falling into the hands of the soldiers, the commander sacrificed his life to blow up the ammunition. On the other hand, the American troops fighting in the tunnel were no better. Triggering the mechanism, they were plunged alive by bamboo rafts and drowned alive by the flood. Being tall, they couldn't turn around at all in the narrow tunnel and were stabbed again and again. Jack discovers the button for the tunnel, holds his breath and swims all the way there, inadvertently swimming to the Vietnamese soldier's lounge. He is shot twice as the grenade is thrown. After the explosion, Jack climbs out of the hole. The soldier stops Jack on his way and shows him a sunny path, and another GI gets really lucky and breaks into the boudoir of a female Vietnamese soldier. He is sad he didn't want to shoot and wouldn't hurt her baby, and the female soldier couldn't understand the language the GI was speaking. That's when the bombers came in, dropping bombs one by one. The child tries to hide, but is covered in dust. The soldier drags the woman out of the dust, and the two hostile parties become close friends, shoveling together to rescue the child buried in the dirt. The room they are in is also sealed off, and the oxygen slowly runs out, as does all of their breath. At the moment the lights went out, the two of them lay down in the tunnel forever. May the world be at peace.